Hello friendos, welcome back to another exciting episode of Metroid Prime 3 Corrupt One, where today we are going to continue looking through Norian to see if we can't get any new items, uh, or suit expansions really. But before we do that, I need you to hit that like button, subscribe to us if you haven't done so already, ring the bell so you get all the notifications no matter what we do, leave a comment below letting us know if we are doing good, if we if i'm doing good or if you think i'm an asshole which i'd agree but anyway till let's get started so we're heading into conduit b to see if there's anything oh yeah there's liquid phase on Making the hoppers. Where did it go? Did you just. Hey, buddy. You still alive? Mm, nope. Is there anything I can do for him? Nope. Well, that's. That's fun. Uh, I gotta go down. So, what's this way? Oh, more of that liquid phase on shit. Damn it! Stay still. There we go. That's dead. Alright. Any more of that liquid phase on shit? We'll go through this data storage. Alright, this is. Uh, data on Brio. Alright, let's talk about it. Federation scouts discovered the planet Brio ten years ago. The planet's alignment makes most of its surface uninhabitable. 48% of the world is always exposed to the sun, with another 48% shrouded in permanent night. The remaining 4% lies in the equatorial ring of fertile jungle, where, where the bulk of Brio's life forms or bioforms dwell. Fuel gel is common on Brio, which makes it extremely important to the Federation. The local bioforms are quite primitive though there are ruins that indicate an advanced culture thrived in Brio in the centuries past. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we already found out all about that. <laughs> Skytown, which is in Elysia. Skytown is a network of advanced structures floating in the atmosphere of planet Elysia. Most of the base is dedicated to research from a local to inter interstellar level. The powerful sensors of Skytown provide useful military intelligence data along with research information. An Aurora unit analyzes the vast amounts of data collected by the station. It is supported by Elysians, a group of sentient mechanoids that live within the base. Cool. And what is this? Special access codes. 428-413-73636-55184-14758. I never understood what those access codes are. But I do kind of want to try them. Is there going to be liquid face on somewhere around here? I feel like there is. And the door's locked. And... That's glowing. And that's not good. A hopping Metroid. Oh, 
Okay, so I can deal with these like I do Metroids. Freeze them and then... Well, if I can hit the damn things. What is that, by the way? Okay. scan this by the way yeah I did all right cool oh my gosh this is almost too easy and now it dissolves thank God into liquid phase on <sighs> That's dead. That's dead. And that's it. Cool. All right. Now that everything is uh, pretty much dead, let's check out what what is back here and why. Why am I not seeing it? Um, okay. That's a little weird. See it on the motion sensor, but it ain't there. Alright, let's see if I can't get to this. Really? Bam. Ah, you can't stop me. Valhalla incident. The GFS Valhalla was on a training mission after receiving a new crew at Tivis. We believe the Valhalla was ambushed en route to a training base by a fleet of pirate vessels. Data suggests the pirates were using upgraded starships powered by Phazon. <clears throat> That, plus superior numbers, were more than the Valhalla could handle. Current whereabouts of the Valhalla are unknown. She is presumed destroyed in... Oh god, action. Sorry about that, that was... Both a hiccup and a burp. Alright. Boom. Boy, I'm glad that I could get through that. I forgot uh, all the all the necessary items were to get this far. But now that I know... <clears throat> Open the door, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, boy. Um, that's not good. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Give me that last one. There we go. Where are you going? Give me that. Ugh. 
Where are you going? Where are you going? Ouch. Okay. I see. I see where you're going. Come on. Jeez. That last leg. Trying to get a hit on it is almost impossible. Come on! Jesus. There we go. Finally. Give me a leg! Come on! Ah, there we go. Jeez. Wait, what? Pretty sure I ripped that thing thing off. And I fell. Give me. There we go. There we go. Jeez. Ouch. I'm not really all that concerned with my health. Ah, how in the hell did he still hit me? Haha. -ha. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roar. Ouch. Ouch. There we go. First time I think I've ever seen a Metroid hatch or actually hatch Metroids. Eh. Yeah, that is the first time I think I've ever seen a Metroid hatch or hatch Metroids. And that's me is both funny and sad. Because, number one, you'd expect I'd see that sooner as many times as I've played this game. But, because I haven't, that shows you how good I am at this game. And I fell. Right after I said I was pretty good at this game. Yep. <laughs> that's the uh, I, I want to call that the, the uh, bragging paradox where you brag about how good you are at a game and immediately eat your own words so now I have three energy cells which should lift the lock down And because the lockdown is lifted, I can go out that door. I thought it was going to let me uh, do the same thing from the other generators. You know, drop that, the whole thing. But, Norian's almost 100% complete. There's only one thing I can't get right now. That's because I don't have the spider ball uh, upgrade. But we'll go ahead and get the ship in here.
want to make sure there's no items in this area. Which I didn't think there were. There's an item there, but I need the spider ball. And then that should be all for Norian. Should never have to come back here after that. Looks like that is the case. Alright, so. I'm going to save and enter the ship, and we'll call it a day. Energy and missiles fully replenished. Anyway, that's all the time I'm going to take up for today. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications no matter what we do. Everything I said at the beginning of the episode, we'll just repeat at the end. I really haven't figured out a way to close these out without saying that, so... Uh, I guess I'm just going to repeat it. <clears throat> but uh, I do appreciate the like, the comments, and the shares uh, for this and other videos. If you're doing so, if you're not, don't worry about it. I'm not holding it against you. Maybe a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it, it's up to you. It's your choice. Anyway, guys... On the left is a video that's recommended for you, and on the right is yesterday's video, so give that a like, comment, and a share so we can continue to grow this channel. And if you hear another voice, that's my mom. She's down in the sewing room, sewing some masks for people. Um, so if you guys uh, need a mask, uh, my mom can could make one for you. Uh, just, uh, I guess, leave a comment down below, and... Uh, We'll, we'll we'll get some kind of uh, uh, thing going for you. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to stay frosty.